I wanted to ask you something as a professional athlete who played basketball in the pros in Europe and also in college. I the concept of home court or home field advantage. You always heard this, and if you're a betting man, it's something you consider. But oh, they're home, they're home, and I always kind of poo pooed the loud. Why? What? So the crowd's loud. Maybe they don't hear an audible. Then I saw that the Dolphins got a new stadium in. 20 something, okay, 2018, 17, right. whatever. Steve, you can look it up. When they built the stadium, they intentionally designed the direction. The sun so that, hits. Yes, the, sun, the visitor's yes. bench is covered in sun, and the, the home game. bench isn't. So, a reporter, I don't know the source, but a reporter uh, got a, did a thermometer reading on both sides recently, this season. One side of the field was 80 degrees. The other side was 102. You know, and, and, and for, for basketball, like, so you get up, say you're going you're gonna to play University of Kentucky and you're in Louisville. So you get up for the hotel, you know, that because you're there the night before. So you get up and you go, and a lot of times you're just, you know, with your sweatpants, you'll go down, get breakfast. Get on the bus, go to the building, do like a walk, a walk through, you know, you'll do the three man weave to kind of just warm up, and you'll run, you know, the, you'll run their offense uh, with the with the practice squad will run their offense, so you can you know see it one more time, get your defensive assignments, and then you go back, and now. On a normal day, you'd be at, uh, at on campus. You'd be fucking around doing shit. Now you're pretty much stuck at the Hilton in Lexington with nothing to do. Mm -hmm. So you end up laying in bed. You sleep. You watch TV. You're, you're, it's like it and like the, by the time your biorhythms by the time it's you know five five twenty or whatever it is to get back on the bus. Like the last thing you want to do is 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 go play basketball. So it puts you in that like zombified state, that relaxed it just, it just, state. It just, it just takes you. It just takes you out of your um, daily routine. Yeah, you know. But what about the physical build? I know travel can be an issue too, especially if you're going a long distance to play the other team cross country or whatever. But what about the buildings? Because the 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 Dolphins thing with the sun, obviously, you're not going to deal with that in basketball because of the, uh, because of the, uh, there you go. Oh, no, in basketball, what you do is you make sure, like, in the, in the, in the old Boston Garden, if you were in the visitor's locker room, the, the thermostat was, it was 120 in that, in that locker room. And then at University of Tennessee, Ray Mears was the coach, and he was, like, one of those psychologists you know, like a like a general type guy, he found this. Did like, you hit him? Huh? Never. Okay. He um he found this color of like almost like of a, a, a between a pink and a salmon, and they painted the entire locker room visiting the locker room that color. And it was supposed to be the color that they like painted the cells of incredibly hostile, like vicious sociopath psychopaths it's like had a calming it, effect yes ah. so 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 they would go in there and this this you know this and they would be slowly you know melted mm -hmm. down well you know we had you know i was a celtics fan in the 80s and i know that they talked about the building just being notorious for for having no air conditioning in in, in the whole building let yeah. alone the locker room and uh yeah, I guess wrestling ran there too and stuff. So these guys had to work without without air. But was there an uglier team in the history of all sports than like the 1986 Celtics? You can start with a, listen. Larry Bird was a hero of mine. We'll get to that later. Oh, we're just talking about actually physical physical ugliness. Oh my God, Dennis Johnson, uh, Frankenstein, Kevin McHale, uh, the 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 chief. Larry was nothing uh, to look at, as talented as he was. Bill, 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 Walden. Bill Wald, not exactly uh, GQ. <laughs> I know, fell off the turnip truck. Um, 
a brutal team. To, I, I think half of their wins probably came from the physical intimidation of, you know, a black guy with freckles uh, coming at you, uh, uh, you know, bringing the ball down the court. Coming at you DJ. like a sp- coming at you like a spider monkey. That boy sure. could play some. He could play yeah, some sure. D, man. Sure, sure. 